Hey, I am Yale, and I am working on something big. Everything is going great, and uh, what's this? You've got mail. Three weeks? Well, I guess I'll find something better to do in the meantime. All right, game jam time. I have to make a game in seven days, following a certain team. Eager to start working, I looked at my schedule of the week. Hmm, the jam starts at Sunday at noon. But looking at my planning, it seems I only have about one, what, one afternoon and two evenings? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Well, I guess I'll just start right away. What are we waiting for? All right, the, the team reveal. Let there be chaos. Now, I could get started immediately, or I can do some gaming for research purposes. Wait a minute, I have an idea. I'll just duplicate myself so I can do two things at once. Sure, let me do all the work so you can enjoy your games. You're doing great, man. Keep it up. Uh, 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 chaos. Uh, TV, TV something with uh, butterflies or right time. Or, hmm. I'm a little hungry. See you in a bit. Just keep working on that uh, bee thing. Yeah, that sounds promising. Sure. I'll just do everything around here. A few moments later. Hmm. That was delicious. All right. I'm back. Uh, how did you do? Oh, all right, all right, all right. Looks good. Looks good. Let me just um. <laughs> Let's go make some bees. Now, how on earth am I going to make hundreds of bees move around believably and actually act like voids? A term coined by Greg Reynolds to simulate the behavior of flocks, originally meant for birds. But I ask you, why not bees as well? If you want to learn more about voids, you should check out Sebastian's video about it. That's where I got all this stuff. But here's the basics. Voids have three rules. Stay a certain distance away from each other. Try to follow the same direction of the other boys around you and try to go towards the center of the flock. Alright, let's just do a little bit of this and then a little bit of that. And then we press play and... Alright, alright, everything seems to work fine. Well, I mean, you can't really tell if it works with one boy, can you? Hey, hey, where are you going? Hey, hey, single screen, hey! Hmm, aha, perfect! Extra rules! These boxes should stop him. Now, let's see if it works with five boys. Or 20 boys. Or even 200 boys. Haha. <laughs> now, let's go all the way. The boys will go over 9,000. Now, there was one more rule I could add to complete my boys. Follow the leader. Oh, oh, they're stuck to my cushion now. Oh my god, all these bees. They, they're everywhere. Get them off. Yeah, get them off my, get them off my mouse. Hey, hey, hey. Take that. Now that the bugs are squashed, you might be wondering, Hey Alan, what is the game going to be about? Well, let me explain. Well, it's actually real simple. You are the queen bee and the bees are totally out of control. They lost their way to the flowers. It is your task to guide them through the dangerous world of the garden and make sure they don't hit any that hazards or something. Speaking of that hazards, I made some basic obstacles for the bees. I present you three ways to kill a bee. One, sticky stuff. The bee passes through here and gets stuck. Now it only moves at half speed. Hopefully it doesn't lose the rest of the flock and, and dies. Two, a wind blower. Blows the bees far away as soon as they enter the danger zone. How far will they go? Only time will tell. Three, the uh, death thing. When the bee enters this place of desperation, there is only one outcome. Well, well, there is no outcome because the bees will disappear forever. Okay, I can move the bees, annoy the bees, and even kill them. Let's see it all in action. Ha, ah, take that bee. That's for that one time you stung me when I wanted to get some ice cream and I was an innocent little defenseless boy. Okay, the game works, but well, it doesn't really look like anything right now. Let's fix it. I knew I didn't have much time, so I had to keep it simple. I wanted a style that's a bit different from your typical 2D platformer, so I went with a more graphical style with some fancy gradients. I also made the bees way too complicated, and all you could see was this black and yellow mess. But after some simplifications, the bees could soar again. <sighs> I did some great work today. Let's get some sleep and do it all over again. Before I realized it was already Wednesday evening. Where did the time go? Well, let's get crack-a-lacking. This will be one of the last nights I can work on this. 
there were still a bunch of things left to do, so I made something to keep track of all my to-dos. These jars. Every M&M &M has the letter to signify what I have to do. There is the M for, for music, and then the, the M for gameplay, and then the M for um, my artwork. See? See? And every time I finish something, I get a little snack. A watertight system, if you ask me. Let's get started with my art. I already made the bees and a concept layout, but I still had to put all of it in the game. I made a tile map, and then I realized that some of the corners were rotated the wrong way. But then I kinda liked it, so I just kept it like that. Another happy accident. I made that and sticky stuff into the sprite as well, so I can make them whatever size I wanted. For the wind, I made a little fan and then some wavy effects to show the area of effect. And with the art on, it was time to make some levels. Did I make intricate designs where every block was placed with utter care? No, no. Did I make sure the bees would never get stuck or escape the play area? Uh, no, no, not either. Did I make four levels in record speed? Well, I don't know what the record was, but it was pretty damn fast. Look, a hazard. Oh no. Anyway, the bees have finished. Uh, well, at least some of them. With another success behind my belt, I tackled the next M, the music and sounds. I thought very carefully about the composition, taking into account the harmonics of the stack. Hey, hey, sure I can't hear you over these terrible B sounds. Let's use some nice nature sounds. Much more relaxing. And to finish things off, a cool tune to get you all riled up. Let's take some rest and finish it on Friday. All right, a small update on my jars. Well, let's just say I got a little hungry last night, so I kind of ate them all. Time for nuts! It's Friday evening and I'm going away in a few hours and I still need to do a lot of stuff to make the game playable. The last nuts were no match for me because I am the nut master after all. I made a start screen to actually start the game, a menu to, to see when you finish the level, a level select to, to actually skip levels in case I made a level that's completely broken, and an end screen that's just that. Th thank you for that. And of course, finally, a banner for the site. If that doesn't deserve a reward, then I don't know what does. Make sure to leave a like if you liked the video and subscribe to keep in the know of when I post a new video. Oh yeah, and you can check the game out on itch.io, link below. Time to close my computer, pack my bag and off we go. Oh, uh, what? Oh, well, thank you. Playtime's over boys. Time for the big stuff. Bye.